How you all doing YouTube? Snuff begins here again for a quick review. Today's review is going to be on a nice little snuff from Samuel Gowith called Black Coffee. Received this in a pack pack from them not long ago. Um, got a 16 pack box, and uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting snuff. Nice and fresh. You can sort of tell tell that it's fresh. There's just a touch of the uh, ammonia scent there, which it doesn't bother me. You can't taste it. You can't smell it in your nose. It's just out of the tin. It's just because it's quite fresh. Um, little look at it there. It's dark, speckly, fluffy. The smell, the ammonia is the main thing you can smell. A little bit of the coffee coming through, sort of bitterness. But oh, apart from that, not much else. Um, so we might as well dive right into this. Uh, take a quick close-up look, and then uh, it will come back to me. Okay, here we have the close-up. Some nice tin art on that one as well. As you can see, this is another dark one from Sam Gowith. Um, it's definitely a dark brown, but it's a, a really nice fluffy texture again. And with good levels of moisture, which means that you shouldn't have too many problems taking this. Um, it does actually look a fair bit finer. It is, yeah. It's a fair bit finer than um, what their blends normally are, which is interesting to try because a lot of their blends are, are very similar in terms of um, grind and moisture, whereas this one is definitely a little bit more fine. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can see that the little bits on there are much smaller than what you'd normally uh, get from Sam Gowith. It's um, still not that hard to take. It's a nice, nice snuff. Not a very, not a very powerful scent on this one. Uh, I can't really smell it whilst I'm doing this. Nevertheless, we'll see how it is when it's in the nose, and uh, I think it's just about time for that. Hey guys, okay, I'll take a bit of this, and uh, just for information, I picked up one of these uh, a few weeks back. I don't think I've shown it in my videos yet. This is a uh, Brebia. Pipe nail. I'll turn it around so you can read that. Brebia. Pipe nail. It's aluminium, I think. Very light. Um, it's, I guess, made predominantly for pipe tamping. But the spoon on the end's absolutely perfect. I use it all the time at home, and sometimes take it out with me too. It was like one dollar ninety or something. Uh, I think I got it from Fournoggins.com. But it's a fantastic little tool, and I, I seem to be acquiring loads of loads of spoons and tampers at the minute. I won this one recently, um, which you'll have probably seen if you watch uh, some of my non-snuff related videos. It's a snuff spoon uh, pipe tamper from um, Nate Nate Campbell, and uh, I don't really know what kind of bullet it is, but obviously it's got a bullet casing, so that's cool. Anyway, let's get into this. Don't want to hold you up. You can take nice big scoops of this. No problems there. You get no real burn with this, with the coffee. Off the bat, there's really not a whole lot of scent. It's certainly not a strong coffee. You get a bitter sort of, uh, what it reminds me of is sniffing, not that I've ever done this, but it reminds me of dry, if you imagine uh, you've bought some coffee grind, grinding ground coffee beans, whatever you call them, and you've left them out with the top off, and they've lost some of their, their real flavour, their scent, and they've just gone sort of dry, uh, bitter coffee. It's really not a... Uh, it's really not sweet at all. It's not unpleasant, but it's definitely not um, a strong, strong coffee. Just have a little bit more. 
I feel that this needs further investigation. As with most of the Sam Gowiths, um, it's really low to medium nicotine. There's not, not a whole load of kick in it. It's pleasant, yeah, it's pleasant, but if you're looking for a strong kick of coffee, it's probably not what you're looking for. But something, you could potentially mix this with a sweet snuff. I think that would make a good mixing snuff because it's not gonna overpower anything but it's really easy to take so if you've got something that's quite fine and sweet mixing it with this would probably be quite good um, actually just rediscovered this one lately it's been in the back of my drawer some of the taupe vanilla oh, I think that would probably go really well with it this is a really sweet medium grind it's taupe snuff, you all probably know this but I think that would just sweeten it up and it would give it that little bit of extra something a bit of bite, just a bit of something but anyway, I'll leave it at that. Black coffee, um, good snuff. If you like coffee snuffs, it's worth trying, um, but it probably wouldn't be my first go-to coffee. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.